Wildwood Park, A Walk Back in Time. Originally called Lake Mashapog by the local Nipmuc Indians for its beautiful sand beach and crystal clear water, the Indians reported to the early, earliest English settlers that the lands had been good to them. There ensued a powwow on the summit of a sandy hill covered in tall pines. After four days of festivities, the Great Spirit punished the group by causing the hill beneath them to sink, and all but one good squaw perished. It was said that on a clear bright day, the huge trunks and branches of the tall pines could be seen in the deepest part of Lake Alexander. This is me and my best friend in the summer of 1902 at our favorite spot, Wildwood Park. We came here every summer. We loved every minute of it. Those were the days. Let me take you back in time where we played at the lake, went to the theater, enjoyed roller skating, and you were able to be young. Life was so different back then. We were free to have fun, and during the summers at Wildwood, we sure did. There was so much to do, but there was also time to sit and relax and enjoy the beautiful view that Alexander's Lake had to offer. The amphitheater was such a wonderful place to go. We would all wear our best to go to the shows. The women would dress in their beautiful linen and stylish hats. The men would wear their suits and of course a hat. We dressed so well in those days and we truly took pride in how we looked. It was such a treat to go to the outdoor theater. The evening was just as much fun as the day. At night, the fireworks would light up the sky. It was magnificent. We all stood in amazement at the beauty of the fireworks. As you can see, people are everywhere on the beach, swimming and splashing around in the water. We both enjoyed a midday afternoon swim in fresh, cold, soothing water. If you look in the distance, you can see the water wheel. It was one of the highlights that the lake had to offer. We would climb on top and it would take us around and right into the water. The younger children enjoyed playing in the playground by the dance hall. It was also an adventure to go for a boat ride on the lake. Some of our other friends would join us for an exciting sightseeing ride across the lake. I had a friend in those days that took us for a ride in his plane. We were able to get a wonderful view of the lake. us would go to Kelly's Cove to sit in peace. We would sometimes chat about the daily news and have something to eat. The trolley used to run from Danielson to Putnam in those days. Taking the trolley for a ride was always a fun afternoon. It cost 50 cents for a three hour ride and you could go all the way to Providence. The mansion was amazing. It was so elegant and beautiful. When it was first built, the Alexanders used it as their family mansion. We stayed there once as guests of the Alexanders and could not believe how magnificent it was. stay at the mansion. It was converted into a 40-room hotel. We stayed there again, but it was not the same as when it was the Alexander's home. I can remember how sad we were to find out it was demolished in 1935. It was so beautiful. Those last days of summer were the best. 
We had a huge dance in the ballroom. That is where I met my wife. I remember how she stood across the dance floor as I gathered up enough courage to ask her to dance. I am so happy I asked her for that dance. It changed my entire life that summer at Ballroom Park. Today, Wild the Park is no more. My friend and I visit the old spot every so often and reminisce. If we are real quiet and we close our eyes, we can still hear the laughter, the water splashing, and all the memories of the past. We sure miss Wildwood Park.